Years ago, a professor here at the University of Nebraska, Dr. Chris Eskridge, and my top assistant, Mike Arthur, worked together with me to create a performance and strength index. The performance index and the strength index are two different things, but they work together. One kind of measures talent of an athlete, and the other one measures effort. And the effort in the strength area is what improves the talent in the performance area. So when we look to test performance, we're looking at the 10 yard dash or 40 yard dash, or both. We're also looking at the vertical jump and a pro agility run. Those three or four tests then make up what's called the performance index when body weight is compared to what their performance was. In order to improve those test scores, you go to the weight room. And here we want to measure the squat or the hang clean. Those two tests, when you compare your body weight to the amount of weight you're lifting, will also give you an index we call the strength index. If you want to improve your performance, you have to improve your strength index. And if you want to do it and make a really nice affair out of it with your athletes, what we did at Nebraska back in 1981 was create a record platform where you could get up on the record platform and attempt to set a new record. And those athletes that uh, were able to accomplish 500 points on all of the tests had their name engraved on a, on a plaque on that platform. Nebraska coaches uh, used the performance index during their football camps to identify potential athletes that might be invited to come play for the Huskers. One of the greatest athletes in Nebraska history was Amon Green. His test scores in high school were actually better than some of the, the test scores that were school records for Nebraska football players at the time. And of course, he had a tremendous career at Nebraska and on into the professional ranks as well. If someone is interested in the performance index or the strength index, they are both available at boydepley.com.